We are live in Berlin for the German Masters and finishing the last 32 this afternoon. And Mark Selby making quick work of Tip Chaya Anu 4 0 up and looking for a 5 0 whitewash. Now, last night, Egypt won on penalties, but who will they face in the Africa Cup of Nations final? Will either be the Indomitable Lions or the Black Stars. That is a cracking game of football, and it's live and exclusive tonight from 6.45 in Eurosport 2. The German Masters had some real competition with that. And here's the full picture of the remaining last 32 games going on this afternoon here at the Temple Dome in Berlin. The other four games certainly slower than what we're witnessing in our main game. Neil Robertson, Thunder from Down Under, we talked about a lot going in. Needs a big tournament, one all with Ben Williston at the moment. Easier work for Michael Holt against Stuart Carrington. Marco Fu's just taken the lead against David Gilbert. They shared the opening two frames. And Anthony Hamilton had just taken a 2-0 lead over, of course, a, a Welsh world champion in Mark Williams. So it's all going on, but we've reached our mid-session interview, Ronnie O'Sullivan and Jimmy White, quicker than anyone else. Mark Selby being Mark Selby. We'll start with frame one, Ronnie. Trouble for Anu, but doubles first. Yeah, he's put a few, couple of doubles here. This is one. Um, played it at a nice pace, angle on the green to get the reds out. Um, so, yeah, you know, um, some players are just blessed at doubles. This was, an, this was a nice one, hit a bit firmer. Perfect onto the black, um, but then you know the, the shot like this, which you fancy him to get, he ain't getting. Yeah. Um, you'd rather him miss the doubles, but get them, you know, because they're confidence boosters. Uh, you know, leaving Selby in yeah. too too easily, really. You know, who's the best at doubles in the game? I think you said John Higgins. Higgins yeah, yeah, John Higgins. Higgins yeah. Yeah. Best at doubles, and it, that's the key point, I suppose. If we look at frame two, Jimmy. I mean, Tipchaya now is getting in, but any mistake, Selby punishes. Listen, he plays one of the greatest shots you'll see all week here. He I pops mean, the this, green with running I mean, side. This is, like, such a hard shot, isn't it? Yeah, off of three cushions. <laughs> Digging and, down. You know, it's an absolute... You've got to have such much talent yeah. to play a shot like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And then he's perfect on the red, but and he scores like nine The, or the so. one that kills me after that is when he's potted the red and he's got a kick on the black, but it's just a shot of an un unconfident player. Yeah. Uh -huh. Really should have brought it off the side cushion up on the red. A um, good safety shot. Then once you, yeah, and once you start missing balls like that against a top-quality player, he's, you know, he's obviously played a very aggressive safety shot there. And eventually it's got him in. Again, not an easy shot. They're a bit smelly them, aren't they, Jim? Yeah, but the reason the reason that he's ended up on the smelly red is because he played a bad positional yeah. shot. He's got in a new on two or three occasions through fantastic pots, mm. which Ronnie would be proud of, to get in to start the game and then miss straight away and give it back to your opponent. Exactly. When you're doing that, someone like Selby's just sitting there he's, like... He's actually probably missed more trying easy to pots shot. in them four frames than he's probably missed in two seasons. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, he's just been, like, missing balls, like, unbelievable. Good getting in, mm. but, like... Bad mistakes. Bad. You two, you two never failed to entertain me. I mean, I, every I, I say they're bad mistakes now, man, at tournament, can't I? No, but, but smelly <laughs> they reds. <laughs> they they were bad. Smelly reds is a new phrase. Let's see if there's any smelly shots in frame three. This was a smelly pink. <laughs> I've had the smelly red. We've got the smelly pink. Watch this. Look, he misses the pink, which is missable, you know, if you don't cue it straight into the middle. And noon's banging. Yeah, noon pots is and this is his pink. You've look, got that, Colin. I mean, we want to get that pink clean. It's that smelly. It's right. <laughs> Stinking. Yeah, it's frightening in Selby. You know, you just get stronger and stronger, Selby. Like, you know, just loving life. I think one of the key points when we were watching it, Ronnie, you were saying, when you don't have the confidence, a lot of first-round exits yeah. recently for Anu, the pockets shrink a bit, yeah. you're a few inches out on your position, and those things just don't come naturally, do they? Yeah, no, you just can't buy confidence. You have to earn it, you have to get results. You have to, you have to get results, basically. You can be playing bad and still be confident, yeah. um, but you can't be getting bad results and play confident because it's, I don't know, it's just a weird no, thing, winning, you know? winning breeds winning. He needs, he needs mm, a few results, yeah. Anu, and he, he's got all the talent in the world, but... When you're potting these fantastic balls to get in to a frame and then just giving it straight back to your opponent, someone like Selby, you, you're just a million. Smell. Well, a zillion, actually. Yeah, yeah. Smelly. Doesn't look like it's going to happen for him today, that's for sure. But the mid-session here, live in Eurosport, of our full snooker coverage across the calendar, where these two guys just can't be about analysis. We've got the table here to use it. We want you to get in touch as well. So it's hashtag German Masters, your comments in the game, questions for the boys, and also to suggest some of Ronnie's best shots. We've been recreating them in the mid-session interval. So let's have a look at the one that we're going to do today. This is very recent indeed. He's smiling, he's smiling. 
So this is the Masters this year. I think you're 5-4 up at this stage. This is all about precision. Four-sprung dirt technique, Ronnie. Yeah, look at that, absolutely beautiful. It actually looked better than it was to be fair. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> not that hard a shot. Well, you're just sort of like playing for an area, really, aren't you? Yeah. Do you want me to play it now? Absolutely. Are you ready? Yeah, what's going sure. through your mind here as a player when you're taking uh, a shot? Though, for any amateur players watching. Well, if Ronnie gets on that red that's on that cushion, he opens up. Ronnie's always looking to win the game in one visit, and if he gets onto that red that's tight on the cushion, the whole table's open. All Excellent. I'm thinking of is get this, this right, and that just takes care of itself. So you forget about that. Oh, wow. It's just here, here, and then once you get the throw right, you should actually be automatic to get on the... Um... A fantastic insight. Concentrating only in those, and he's played it exactly as he said he was going to. Even better. That'll do. <laughs> that was better. Uh, there you go. It's, it's all right, it's all right. But, oh. Beautiful. Right. So, a really good bit of advice there in, in terms of, yes, you're playing to put the white ball down there. It's yeah. a vast table. That's going to eat up a lot of amateur players. It's quite mm. daunting, but you're mm. concentrating on almost a pool shot yeah. there. Yeah, you kind of like, if you get this bit wrong, you, that's never going to be right. So, you get this bit right, then that takes care of itself. Yeah. Um, it's a bit like trapping a ball for Messi. If he messes his first touch up, the second touch is, you know, is a waste of time. So, precision is the key. You can tell from the whirlwind's face he fancies a go at this. I haven't got my cue. Can you not use Robbie? No, I've got your cue. Well, I'm going to have a happy day. Anything for you, Right, anything for you. Ronnie, where do you want this? I think it was roughly about there, wasn't it? That messed me tip up. Yeah, it was just a tip up. See, this is perfect for Jimmy because he's left handed. Oh, yeah, he's putting under more cosh. He plays this shot really well. This is a Jimmy special. Let me give it a chalk. Ronnie, could this be a smelly brown? You hold it round here, Ronnie. Not anymore. No smelly shots for Jim. What was this? Zip. Oh. Yeah, I just want to get the reds out. And... <laughs> <laughs> Still on it. But it is all about, Ronnie, just to reiterate, playing that part of the shot well. Yeah, you kind of get that bit right, you know, and you time it right. You know, the white fizz and it'll arc into that area there. See, where Jim... You, I mean, yeah, you did put enough screw You didn't hit it as sweet. No. So, basically, you didn't get this bit right and it kind of hit the blue. Hit the blue so, yeah. as long as you avoid the blue, you should be on the red. Yeah. Is there one particular shot over this week that you're worried about? that we might try and recreate? What would be the one that you'd go, oh, no, don't make me try and play that again? No, I'm actually feeling all right at the moment, so I'm pretty fancy playing most shots. <laughs> Should you do one tonight again? Yeah, let's go for it, mate. All right, absolutely love it. Why Get not? your suggestions in, please. It's hashtag German Masters. Get in touch with the boys. We're live throughout the all week and all of your texts and tweets come in directly to us, so the boys will get to see them. Lovely fun at half-time, not much fun out there for Tep Chaya Anu. He's four frames down at the moment. We're going to need real heroics from him when we come back. He'll nail five in a row against Mark Selby. Selby just one frame away from the whitewash. Bright, brisk and breezy. That's both the weather outside in Berlin and the style of snooker inside from Mark Selby. 4-0 up. Tip Chaya Anu on the brink of becoming a tourist for the rest of the week. Um, any crumbs uh, of comfort looking at the match stats that might lean towards sort of a, at least a couple of frames back and a bit of confidence oh, for Tep Chaya? 67%. I don't think I've ever seen anything as low as that, to be fair. Um, you'd expect pot success to be around about 90 for these guys. Um, it's uh, highest break, 12, and he's had a few good chances. Oh, it's not looking good, really, you know what I mean? It's sort of like... It's up against you when you're putting stats in like that. Yeah, we don't see that too often. Highest, highest break, 12. Um, and the thing is, as you so brilliantly pointed out in your analysis, it's not that he hasn't been pulling out the odd miracle shot. It's just that he's getting crushed Selby style. Listen, seriously, Mark Selby and Ronnie O'Sullivan are playing a match together and they played them three or four shots, which uh, are new done. They would, have, oh, they would have won that frame because that's such a great shot, such a confidence booster to get in. I think a they simple way of explaining it is basically uh, a noon is a confident player, would you agree? Yeah. But he's playing, he has no confidence, so really he ain't got no game plan B, he ain't got no way of dogging it out, so really he's just got to wait until the confidence comes back and then he'll start getting results. Until then, you know, it looks like he's going to get, he's going to keep losing first round matches. That's my opinion. Yeah, but, I think he's right. I think he's got no confidence, but... But he's, he's a confidence he's, player. That's but he's still he, got the sh all the shots and yeah, he has but, got the game. If he's he, not feeling confident, yeah. he's going to miss silly balls like he has. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, it's, and, it's and very strange. There's very little time between flights and trains and, and, and automobiles. 
to have a few days away because even between the Masters and here, you were all off qualifying for something else. You come here, you're out. A few days later, you're into the next I, qualifying. I, 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 it's I, relentless. I think sometimes you just got to treat it like one big holiday. <laughs> you have to, because if you start driving yourself mad, going, I'll go, I'll go, you know what, I'm off to Berlin for a week, we'll have an holiday out there, hit a few balls, going to Preston for a couple of days. I'm See going home with him after this talk, I just, don't know It's it just is. a giant holiday. But if you start um, driving yourself crazy, you can go mental. On a serious note, Anoon is, um, is with Terry Griffiths. You know, he's, he's paying Griffiths for his services to coach, so I, I wonder what I? Terry must have said right, in the interval way. to, uh, you know, to try and give him a bit of advice, you know. I'd, I'd uh, want a refund if I was tired at noon at the moment. Yeah, but he's only just started with him, give him a chance. Griffiths sort of that. I'm only joking. Griff will sort him out. We're already underway. We could be back with you in one frame. Let's get their chief holiday makers in the commentary box, Dave Hedden and Neil Foles.